A friend of mine is a manager of a place that does all sorts of cool designs. They branched out to regular container candles with sports themed designs on them. And so while at dinner, he asked me if I could make him a concrete candle shaped as a baseball. I immediately said yes, but I don't know how to make a baseball silicone mold. But my friends at Boo and Nicole do. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. After realizing I bit off more than I can chew by telling my friend I could make a concrete candle shaped as a baseball, because I can't, I reached out to my friends at Boo and Nicole, and not only were they able to bring my idea to life, they loved it. I just got this box all the way from Australia in three days and it holds the new baseball silicone mold. I'm gonna open it for the very first time with you, figure out how much content I need to add to make the baseball, and then I'm gonna create one to see what it looks like. Let's get started. <laughs> Here's the silicone mold for the baseball. This is the top of the baseball. And then the housing for the support mold. And the best thing about this support mold, and she told me about this in our conversation, is that this is magnetic. Listen to this. This is magnetic, this is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the magnet right here. Isn't that great? Not only is this awesome, this is thoughtful. I love that about them over at Boo and Nicole. All right, everything is out of the box. I'm going to calculate how much content I need for my silicone mold off camera. But if you need to figure out any silicone mold, I have a formula. I'm going to link it there. And I'm also going to link it down in the description box as well. If you're new to the world of creating concrete candle jars or you feel lost and just want to improve your skills, I've got something awesome for you. It's called the Winning Formula, a comprehensive course that covers everything you need to know from the basics of working with concrete to mastering your formula through the skillful use of color pigments this course has got you covered. It's not just about teaching you how to do something, but ensuring you understand it fully so you can confidently take action. The best part, you'll have direct access to me through my private community, which means you'll save valuable time, money, and avoid a boatload of headaches. I'm here to support you every step of the way. And in addition to all of that, inside the course, you'll discover an amazing collection of bonus resources that you won't want to miss. None of this stuff is public on my YouTube channel. These extras will take your learning experience to a whole new level and help you become a pro at making concrete candle jars. Check out the link in the description for more details and start elevating your concrete candle jar making skills today. Let's go. All right, I'm back and I just figured out how much content I need to add to this silicone mold so I don't create any waste. I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can do this together. Here is my concrete baseball, or shall I say hydrostone baseball, because I use hydrostone to make this. And this looks awesome, it really does. Now, I have to let it cure for a couple of days because I'm going to add in the stitching. And in order to add in the stitching, I need to make sure that it's cured because if it's not cured, what happens is the moisture from inside will start to spread the ink, which will look kind of ugly and we don't want that. Before I do that, I just want to tell you something about this silicone mold and the process that I just went through. This was the easiest thing I have demolded in all of my time that I've been demolding silicone molds. Look at how flexible and easy it is. It does not hurt me. I do not feel any pain. And to be honest with you, that's a big deal when you get older. Not that I'm getting older. Well, I am. But I'm not old. Well, I am. But you know what I'm trying to say. So if you have a love of silicone molds and are interested in something like this baseball, Boo on Nicole hit it 
out of the park, pun intended. Actually, there's three things about her silicone molds that I love. One, ease of use. Two, cost. And three, quality. Those three, she balanced out to the point where it's like, whoa, you know exactly what you're doing. So I have to say, if you like silicone molds, Boo and Nicole is the way to go. I'll be back in a couple of days to add in some stitching. Right, I'm done with the stitches. I'm gonna tell you now, it took me about seven minutes to do the stitches. I had a little error here and there where it kind of hit a portion of the ball that I didn't want it to hit. I was able to kind of get those out. That wasn't a big deal. Obviously, as I do it more and more, I'm gonna get better at it. I was the first time doing it, so I couldn't see. And plus, I was doing it for a video, so my lights are set up and it's very bright, and I'm like, oh my God, where's, you know, I gotta make this good for the video. I wasn't the best, but it was also my first time. But it looks great. I don't think many people would notice it, to be honest. I mean, if you're looking at it and you're like, oh, look, that's different. But this looks awesome. I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour. It's permanent marker. I did not use paint. I felt like paint would be a little harder to do. I used permanent marker and it was a lot easier. So I'm gonna let it sit for an hour and then I'm gonna seal it. And I want you to come along for the journey. All right, here's my Hydrostone candle jar that is sealed. Not only is it sealed, but the sealant is cured because it's a couple of days later. And now I'm gonna add in some candle wax and some fragrance oil because I want you to see what the Hydrostone baseball candle jar looks like as a complete candle. But before I do that, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of things to help you along the way in case you wanna purchase the silicone mold from Boo and Nicole. The first thing I wanna to mention to you is what fragrance oil should you use? Baseball is not necessarily one specific smell. So what are some of the smells that we smell in baseball? Aside from armpit and foot odor, we smell a lot of different smells like leather, grass, wood, but I didn't necessarily want to get those fragrance oils, but I wanted something a little bit more universal. After discussing this with my wife, we went through various fragrance oils and the one that popped out was one that was bergamot and sandalwood. Something of a combination, an outdoorsy smell that has this woodsy smell, but a hint of citrus. For some reason, I thought it would work, so we got it. And you wanna know what? To me, it's a home run, pun intended. Now, here are some of the challenges I had making this Hydrostone baseball candle jar. One problem I had is when I first tried to make the Hydrostone candle jar, I placed the support brace around the silicone mold incorrectly. So when I did my first pour, it came out horrible. But there is a way that it fits and I put it together correctly and it was easy after that. It was so, so perfect. And you saw what the outcome looked like. The other challenge I had was that the lines are a little tedious, a little challenging because you get little marks along the way. It's unavoidable if you're doing it for the first time, right? Because there's a learning curve to it. Eventually, as I do it again and again, I'm going to get better. Anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna turn the camera around and now we're gonna make a baseball candle. Great. This Hydrostone baseball candle is absolutely fantastic. Boo and Nicole, you did an amazing job with your silicone mold. And if you're interested in a baseball silicone mold so you can make baseball candles, link is in the description. But there's one last thing I need to do. I need to find out if my friend actually likes what I created. I'll let you know when I find out. 
And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're going to help you on your concrete, hydrostone, and candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.